Thousands of fans gathered at a stadium in Onicha, Anambra State to drum up support for the national team, the Super Eagles, as they make their outing in the 2018 World Cup tournament in Russia. The event tagged Hero Drink Red Caps, sponsored by International Breweries PLC, makers of Hero Lager Beer, has asked the Super Eagles to chin up and take on their opponents squarely. The Chubai Pazu Stadium in Onicha, Anambra State, filled with fans and football icons, all here to show their support for Nigeria's national team, the Super Eagles, as they play their first match in the World Cup. The Hero Drink Red Cap event, organized by International Breweries PLC, has ex-international soccer heroes like Victor Ikpeba, Taribo West, Mutu Adepoju, Chuku Ndukwe, Edema Fuludu and many more rooting for the Super Eagles to bring the trophy home. As Nigerians, we pride ourselves with our football. We have to believe. Uh, the fans have to keep on believing. We are the fans. We are now fans too, you know. We are no longer playing against. So uh, I think the best should go out and make Nigerians proud. Nigerians, I mean, they love football and I mean, they support Super Eagles and you, you know, doing the, this kind of thing. It's, I mean, something I mean, that I say, I mean, very, very great. And uh, we just, we're happy to be here and I mean, be part of it. According to the marketing manager of International Breweries PLC, the hero brand should inspire the Super Eagles to return home as heroes. The brand comes from a point where it inspires Nigerians to go and achieve art and break records. And so that is why we know that the, uh, our, our fans, our consumers who we deal with, who we engage with the brand every day, love football. Football is a passion point for practically every Nigerian. And so we are bringing this as a point because I know the expectation with every Nigerian is that the, the national team go to Russia and make us proud. For the fans, their message is simple. Play for victory. I will see them in the final. I'm super eagles. God bless Nigeria. This is an event that has set Hero Lager Beer apart from other brands. And with a the theme, Fearless, the Super Eagles are expected to play courageously and emerge heroes against all odds. Roger Federer will return to world number one after reaching the Mercedes Cup final in Stuttgart, Germany, the 20-time Grand Slam winner recovered from losing the opening set to beat Australia's Nick Kyrgios 6-7, 6-2, 7-6. The Swiss will now overtake Spanish rival Rafael Nadal when the new rankings are released on Monday. He'll face Malos Raonic in Sunday's final after the Canadian beat defending champion Lucas Poole 6-4, 7-6. That's it on Sports News. Melinda will be back with the rest of the news at 10. The Afghan government have extended its unilateral ceasefire with the Taliban following an initial truce observed by both sides over the Id period. For many Afghans, these are extraordinary times. Militants seen embracing security forces and taking selfies with them. Now, the two sides were fighting each other just a few days ago. The unprecedented development has raised hopes of a permanent peace plan in the war-ravaged country. However, there was a dampener when 25 people were killed in a suicide attack on a gathering of Taliban and government forces in Nagaha. Meanwhile, President Ashraf Ghani has appealed to militants to follow the government's lead and enter into peace talks. Lawmakers in the Democratic Republic of Congo say Parliament will, at President Joseph Kabila's request, hold a special session to consider laws providing legal protection for former presidents. Analysts say the announcement could be a further sign that President Kabila intends to step down after an election in December, despite speculation that he's trying to circumvent term limits that forbid him from running again. Earlier this week, Prime Minister Bruno Shibala said that the president would not be a candidate. And that's the cleverest declaration yet from a senior government official on the matter. But Mr. Kabila himself has refused to publicly commit to leaving office 
and some of his supporters have in recent times floated a legal rationale that will allow him to stand again. And the main news again. Catholic Archbishop of Sokoto Diocese, Reverend Father Matthew Kuka, today has asked Nigerians to identify the root cause of religious crisis and take the challenge of protecting one another. Also today, thousands of fans gathered at the Chuba Ikuyazu Stadium on Ichanambra State to drum support for the national team before they lost their first game. And deadly bombings marred the truce between Afghan forces and Taliban today, shortly after both parties embraced a ceasefire. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinami.